Welcome everyone and today we're at Western Pools Fishery now we're on the Belvedere Pool doing a bit of shallow fishing. Now what I'm going to show you today is my little thought process and thought process and little tricks on a jigger. Now it's, it's the middle of say it was the start of August we're, the fish are feeding well we're catching a few fish shallow on pellets so and one effective way of catching them but dead simple to set up and stuff is a jigger. Now what I'm going to do is show you how I go about setting it up what I'm thinking behind it, how I get it to work, whether fit best way to try and catch a fish and then we'll catch a few fish, hopefully. Now, first of all, what I think I like about when fishing the jigger is when I fish my normal shallow eggs, I like a little bit lighter elastic, but because we're jigging up and down and we're trying to set the hook sort of thing, if a fish has got it in its mouth, it's just like a little bit stronger elastic. So just got a 30 inch jaw slip in that, just for more my jigger fishing. And then one thing you'll notice, say I've got two back shot here. So I can manipulate where they are. If I need to move my stop down, I can move them around. They're just stops, so I can move them around. They're number eights. And then I've got stops. I can't say yes, yeah, stops they are. It's just above it. So when my jigger runs, that's the depth I'm going to be fishing at. And it's just stops my jigger from going any further than it needs to be. Now here at Western Yacht, lads, you need a four inch line limit. So I can't obviously go any more than four inches above that, but I can keep or line tight there with the back shot above it so I can manipulate where I need to fish with it. Now with your jigger it's dead simple to set up just obviously put your stops on the line one at the top there slide your jigger through so it's a hollow, hollow tubes it just rides up and down this one's just a four to six mil one and then literally I've just got a bulk of number eight just four and down to a five inch hook length of 013 and a 16 gpm and a medium bait band just so I can put my pellet on caster and some maggots whichever whichever you want to do and now if you're fishing maggots you can just do use a straight hook but today we're obviously fishing with fishery pellets so it's got a four mil in the band there now the principle of the jigger is is people used to think it was ideally just to see where the fish were to catch a few fish and move it around but if you struggle with shallow fishing and you can't you haven't got loads and loads of top kits and you feel like you don't really understand how about going it then the perfect way to start is fishing a jigger because you can simply go through all the depths you need to be so you can I think this is set like two foot two foot maybe just under so I can go from so I can go from anything from say six inch there because it's where it lies with the shot up to two foot I can search the depths through it so what I'll do when I go fishing I'll show you the best way of going about this so if you're thinking new to shallow fishing or even jigger fishing just go through it you can work through your rig work the depths and go about finding it but once you find the fish there's a few little tricks you can do to catch some extra fish now say if you started catching the fish at say 18 inch i'd literally look to move that down to 18 inch straight away make sure your back shot's in position so it's nice so it keeps it all tight and you can manipulate it now if you feel like you stop getting bites and the fish have dropped a little bit deeper you can obviously you can move that round that's the depth you're going to move it to that's where it's going to stop at so we've got some bait on there four mil pellet just a fishy one 16 hook little bulk there now one thing i want to touch on with the bulk is i don't really want it strung out i want to create like the little pivot of the this is what you're going to end up doing your, your bait's going to flutter up and down and that's when the fish are going to grab it and as you're jigging you'll try as the fish grabs it you'll set the hook into it and you'll catch it that way so that's the way you sort of like going to hook these fish on a jigger so Put the pole together We're just fishing about 11 meters today so not too far just fish with pellets now just going to feed some before i go out because obviously we've been talking and i want to prime prime the peg now the one thing i wanted to touch on is you don't need to like slap it three times or anything slap it twice when you're fishing say you're fishing shallow for carp or f1 just literally i'm going to just slap it over and then get the pole straight above it so slap over once get the pole above it and you can see everything's dead tight so what I'm going to do now is just lower it down to my stop. So I'm searching the layers of the water. But as I'm doing this, I'm going to literally feed my pouch up. And then see there, just got before the stop, just pull my elastic straight out. I can feed my bait and just come back. So I reckon we had that fish it like, say, to be proper precise, about 18 to 20 inch. It's just gone straight away. Now, I'm not going to change my depth to that straight away because it's the start of how we're fishing. But you can see if you had a... 12 inch rig on it's a big f1 as well if you had a 12 inch rig on you may not never catch this fish because it may never come higher but see the size of that there that's a massive f1 don't hold him up 
so you lowered it down trying to look too much flat it's a big f1 on the jigger see if you had a you got a shallower rig on or a deeper rig you might not have caught that fish so see if you're a bit unsure with your shallow fishing or even if you think you feel like you do okay for shallow fishing it's one float that's got to be in your armory just caught a lot of fish caught a lot of fishing it the last few weeks it'll put lindo even here at western as well now one thing i want to stress enough it's not really about the jiggers about the pellet size you want a nice pellet it's a nice flat formation a little bit bigger than what you're feeding it's going to be in your thing now one people say to me how do you band your hook bait so quick so i can either use a banding tool which i've got one oh, i just dropped my pellet in. i've got one in there that one there so i can either use a nice little banding tool so literally i can put put my thing in there pull it tight find a nice little pellet so i'm looking so when i pick up a selection of pellets i'm looking for the biggest biggest one that looks like formation oh and then i'll put that in wrong because my fingers are wet there you go so that's in the middle of the pellet there just literally push it out you've got your band you band it straight away now how i like to do it that's a simple way if you struggle doing it in your hand now a quick little way i'd like to show people on the hands is you literally get the band I might not be able to zoom in there, that's it. So put it flat on the band and just pinch the band. Now, don't pull the hook, just pull the line and you'll just pull the band over the top. So it's nice and fast, like that. So have a little practice of that way. But if you struggle with it, just get a little banding tool, makes it easy for yourself. Now, so you've been out the water, so get back out the mark again. So what I'm going to do is, because there's no weight in the float, they don't really, they don't fish straight away. So like that there, that's not fishing now. As soon as I lift my finger, if you see the, the jigger, like the jigger pops up, little dome on the water, and then you're fishing straight away. So there you go. That was a little bit shallower than last time. But that's one thing that can be really good. You know when you're fishing, it works really well at the clay pit, and the fish come dead high, having that jigger not allowing to go really, really fast at the start just allows you to be in control of how you're fishing. So what I'm trying to say by that is if the fish are sitting like six to eight inch deep, your jigger's not going to fly past them straight away. But if the fish are that deep, with, the, with this one here, it's got no weight in it. So it's just going to lay flat in the water until you start to get your pole above it. So you're in contact with your rig all the time and just maximising your chances of putting more fish in your net. So it can be a little bit confusing, but with these little tips and understanding it, that's how I go about fishing the jigger, you can really maximise your fishing with it so let's have one more get a little four mil i'm gonna put a little sonia bates red one on now it's a little four mil red one just change it up now one thing i can't stress enough is don't leave there's a little like, there's like half an inch of elastic hanging out the end just make sure it's tight that just enables you with the, the, the hooking effect of the jigger because if the fish feel that resistance see See there now, so if I slap that over, it's not fishing. Now it's fishing, see it pop up? So now we're fishing straight away. So all I can do, I can relax, just slowly lower it down and feed over the top. So everything's tight. You can, you can obviously make it faster, you can make it slower. You can take your time. Once it gets to that stop, this is where like, it's called the jigger. You drop it to the stop, lift it up. So it sort of, the float sort of rises, drop it to the stop, lift it up. Drop it to the stop, lift it up. Do that a few times. If you're not at the right depth or a little bit, you might need to go a little bit deeper. Or you might need to go a little bit shallower. You can see you had the mother two quite quick. You see there, right just above the stop. So I did, that tells me, oh, he's off. That tells me I'm at the ideal depth now. Jig is working how I want it to do. And I get, oh. Just try and catch one more for you. It's one thing that you can some angry fish in here at the minute, so that just pulled that out. So I'm not gonna change anything because I've caught a few. So there, I've got to control my rig straight away. I'm just trying to get, I'm going to be focused on trying to get them pellets round the float and lowering it down nice and slow. 
So you can imagine that pellet's just falling through the water, all like in conjunction with your with loose feed. Get to your start, flick it up. So that's when you're jigging. Get to your start, flick it up. Just start flick it up, and then you can either, if you feel like you need to lower it back down again, try and find the fish in the water column. You can. There you go. Just before the stop again. So that's two fish now. Hopefully this one doesn't come off, but that's two fish now at that depth. So that just tells me that I'm at the right depth and I'm getting nice steady bites. So I don't really need to mess around lifting my rig up all the time and going for the two foot. I know that's when I'm getting most of my bites at that depth where the stop is. So if I started to get some bites as I'm lowering it in first off, say like a foot deep, that's a nice little one, so I can move it around. So just look out for them little signs. So at the minute it's going all good. But if we started to get signs as we drop the frig down, then I'd look to bring the stop down. Obviously, if you had a bit of deeper jigger, if you weren't getting any bites, go a little bit deeper. So, lovely F1 on the jigger. Brilliant way of fishing in the summer. And hopefully them tips help you out. Catch a few more fish.